Brainy Dose presents What Your Texting Style Reveals About You We live in an age of fast communication, and texting is one of the best inventions of our time. The fact that you can send a message to pretty much anywhere in the world in an instant is incredible. But have you ever wondered what your texting habits say about you? Or are you even just a little curious to see if you fit a certain texting personality type? Well, wonder no more. Researchers have spent a lot of time studying people's texting habits and came up with some surprising results about human nature. Join us as we explore the world of texting and discover what your texting style reveals about you. Number 1. The Novel Writing Texter If you tend to send lengthy texts, then you're probably a very conscientious and detail-oriented person who values context and communication. Longer texts mean that you like to get into the nitty-gritty and really get your point across to ensure that there are no misunderstandings. You take the time to think through what you want to say and to make sure it's said in a way that won't offend the other person or make them feel uncomfortable. This can be beneficial in a variety of situations, such as when discussing a sensitive topic or trying to resolve a conflict. You believe in being very clear about your intentions, and you don't like to leave anything to chance. But since you are so particular about the way things are done, there is also a pretty good chance that you have a hard time trusting others. Number 2. The Short Texter If you find yourself typically responding with short sentences or even just one-word replies, like okay or sure, then you're probably a bit more reserved in your thoughts. This could indicate that you are not comfortable sharing all aspects of your life with others and that there may be very few people you open up to. In addition, you may be more at ease communicating face-to-face -face rather than over text. At the same time, you don't sugarcoat things or play games with your words. You're not afraid to get straight to the point. You know what's important and don't waste time beating around the bush. Such short texts can come across as emotionless at times but you stand behind them because they are true to who you are. This texting style reflects your honest and direct nature. Number 3. The Short Multiple Texter If you're someone who typically sends short but multiple texts, then it's clear that you're a person of energy and vitality. You're eager to get things done, and you need your communication to reach the other person as quickly as possible. It's not that you're in a rush. You're just passionate about your ideas and want to make sure that you don't lose your train of thought. This kind of texting style indicates that you're an ambitious and hardworking person, but someone who also enjoys having fun. Your amiable and affectionate personality makes you a great companion, and your magnetic aura attracts everyone toward you. Number 4. The Emoji Fanatic Texter If you're someone who sends emoji-filled texts, Chances are that you're more extroverted and more expressive than the average person. You like to show others how you feel, and you love to get out there and live life to the fullest. Essentially, you're a fun person who likes to keep things light and easy. You're not afraid to be silly, and you know that sometimes the best way to get someone's attention is with a well-placed emoji. Number 5. The Overly Amused and Overly Careful Texter if you just can't help but add hahas and lols at the end of each message, it may be an indication of your desire to avoid conflict and make sure that your messages are interpreted as you intended. You are likely a people pleaser who always wants to make sure that everyone around you is happy. You may also find it difficult to express yourself in an assertive manner, which is why you often use humor as a way to diffuse a potentially uncomfortable situation. And while this texting habit can help others feel comfortable and safe around you, it may also lead to some negative outcomes, such as people not taking you seriously or not understanding the full extent of your message. Number 6. The Grammar Geek If you value and strictly follow grammar and punctuation in your text messages, it's a sign that you're someone who is analytical and thoughtful. You take the time to think through your messages and consider the implications of your words. You don't text often and probably prefer in-person conversations to texting. And this indicates you're someone who favors meaningful, deep conversations to casual, surface-level exchanges. Your thoughts are logical, and you're an excellent thinker who never makes decisions based on quick impulses. Number 7. The Could Use Autocorrect Texter You're the most likely to accidentally send a text with some kind of typo in it. You might misspell things or miss a word or two. 
If you have a tendency to constantly send nonsensical messages due to the sheer speed and volume of your messaging, it's quite possible that you're a busy person who's always on the go, which means you don't take the time to double check your texts before sending them. And although it's admirable that you're so driven and ambitious, it's important to take a step back and make sure you're not sacrificing quality for speed. Your texting habits are a reminder that it's okay to slow down and just focus on the task at hand. Number eight, the double or triple texter. If you are not afraid to double or triple text someone, even if they haven't responded in a while, then you're a go-getter. You're bold and brave and not afraid to go after what you want. However, this same assertiveness can sometimes be misconstrued as impatience. Or worse, some people may see it as being too obsessive and clingy. So, if you don't want your intensity to rub others the wrong way, it's important to remember that when someone doesn't respond immediately, they might be busy, distracted by something else, or just not ready to give you the response you want. What do you think? What's your texting style? And do you feel like your texting habits accurately reflect your personality? Share your thoughts in comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.